Welcome to the Dentamax Tip of the Week. Today we're going to look at appointment preferences. Let's go ahead and go into our scheduler by clicking on the scheduler button at the top of our screen and go over using our mini calendar to the 8th. Looking at, for example, Paige Davis, um, there's certain informational items that appear on her appointment. Uh, these might not be the items that you would necessarily select. To change the way that your appointment information is displayed, you can go to File in the upper left-hand corner of your screen and click on Program Preferences. And then from here, you can go into Schedule Settings. And for example, instead of having name appear at the top, maybe we want to look at our procedures. Um, even better yet, maybe abbreviated procedure descriptions. So we'll select Service Abbreviations. Uh, maybe another thing we might, might want to look at would be the insurance company that the patient uh, has. So we could go to Age slash Insurance. Maybe even the date that the appointment was created. So we can go ahead and find date created. Okay. And if we quickly save our changes, click on save here, you'll note that the information being displayed on Paige Davis's appointment has changed to our service abbreviations or procedures that we'll be doing. Her age of 39, <laughs> and she has MetLife Insurance. The date that the appointment was created was on 720, quite a while ago, 2005. And so you can customize this. In addition to that, um, you can change other settings. Let's go ahead and go back into File, go over to Program Preferences, we'll go back into Schedule Settings. Um, if we are, con are concerned about HIPAA, we can go ahead and click on Hide Patient Name on Scheduler. This will hide the patient's name. Uh, another thing we might want to do is change the length of the display area of the appointment book. So right now, um, the time heights in the appointment are set to 18. If we change that to 25 and click on Save Changes, um, you'll note that the appointment is much longer. The time height, the increment between these little marks, is much greater, allowing for more room to be displayed on your appointment. And Paige Davis's name is now scrambled where it's now showing her chart number. Using this and other uh, appointment tools in the Preferences screen, you can change about anything. Uh, I recommend that you go into here and you play with it. Uh, there's different, so many different things that you can do, including closing days of your office, um, choosing what your start date is, just display less days in your weekly view, or even changing the name of your appointment colors if you wanted to have this be uh, cash when you select it instead of green. So a lot of different ways you can use your appointment book, a lot of different options in setting it up. I hope you've enjoyed your tip of the week. And we'll be back next week with another tip. Thank you so much.